Yesterday morning, we got one of our favorite sell-side research reports of the year, the fall edition of Piper Sandler's semi-annual Taking Stock with Teen Survey. This is a terrific report. I, most research is really boring, but not this one. It's something I keep an eye on every spring and fall because it tells you exactly what teenagers like. The latest round was a survey of nearly 9,200 teens across 49 states. Now, this is the most notoriously fickle demographic out there. I'm too old to know what they're thinking. I used to rely on my kids for teen insight, but now they're too old, too. And that's what makes this survey so essential, indispensable even, to anyone who's thinking about owning anything in a consumer-facing business. Whether we're talking footwear, apparel, food, entertainment, every business wants to, to own the teenage cohort because there's a chance you can win these younger customers over for life because our preferences tend to fossilize as we get older. So after reading the report, and with a big thank you to the dozen or so Piper Sandler analysts that contributed to it, led by global lifestyle brands analyst Abby Juvenitz and Edward A. Ruma, let me give you my takeaways. Because the Taking Stocks with Teens survey covers a lot of ground, I'll go sector by sector. I'm going to start with footwear, apparel, and retail. Then I'll circle back to more groups after the break. So let's kick things off with footwear and apparel, because this business is hostage to teenager preferences in a way that really most aren't. Hey, you're fraud if you try to guess this one. You know why? Because first of all, Nike reigns supreme as teens' uh, favorite brand in both footwear and apparel, earning the number one spot, get this, for the 13th straight year. To give you an idea of how much they love Nike, it was a staggeringly top choice of 61% of the respondents in footwear, 35% in apparel. The second most favorite shoemaker, Converse, with 9%, also belongs to Nike. By comparison, Adidas, I saw that in the Becker thing. I'm going to call it Adidas, but I don't know if you've seen the Becker thing, but he calls it Adidas. Came in at third place with just 7%. On the apparel side, the runners-up were American Eagle and Lululemon, both at 6%. Remember, Nike scored 35% of the apparel. They own the sector. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.